Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Vivan Education. Today we are going to discuss about a section formula. In previous class we completed exercise 7.1. Exercise 7.1 is total about a distance between two points. Okay, so I given a playlist of exercise 7.1 in a description. Once you check it. Okay, now we will discuss the proof of a section formula. Okay, exercise 7.2. Exercise 7.2 is total depend upon section formula. Okay, so in this plane, considering A and B are the two points, A as x1 y1, B as x2 y2. Okay, and assuming that let P, let P is a point P x comma y divides this AB in the ratio m1 is to m2. Considering a point P x comma y divides these two points in the ratio. M1 is to M2. Okay, then uh, what it becomes here? Observe here. Then AP by PB, and we can write here AP by PB is equal to what? Then uh, M1 by M2. Yes, this is the ratio of these two points. So this one considering as equation number one. Now we'll draw a perpendicular from APB to the x-axis. Drawing a perpendicular to the x-axis from B. And from P and from A. Now this is uh, one's naming as a R S T. Okay, so we are what we done here drawing a uh, A R and uh, P S and uh, B T are all are what now perpendicular to the x axis. And also drawing a parallel line to the x-axis from A and P. See here, drawing a parallel line to the x-axis from A. And this point are considering as a Q. And from P, drawing a parallel line to the x-axis and naming this one as C. Is it not? Now observe here these triangles. Sir, P A Q. It is a right triangle, right angle at Q. And B P C is right angle at C. Is my getting? So from these two triangles, sir, here uh, angle Q and angle C is equals to 90 degrees. Nothing but right angles, right? And uh, angle A is equals to angle P. Angle and angle similarity criterion. We can say that uh, these two triangles are similar triangles, isn't it? Nothing but we can write here triangle, triangle PAQ, triangle PAQ is uh, similar to triangle BPC. Is my isn't it? So observe here. Now we we know that uh, in similar triangles, the uh, corresponding sides are in proportion. Nothing but ratio, right? So observe here. P A by P B. P A by P B is equals to A Q by P C is equals to P Q by B C. Is my isn't it? So this one considering as equation number two. Okay. So already we know the values of P A and P. Nothing but M1 and M2. Now we had find AQ, PC, BQ, and BC. Okay, now now we'll find one by one here. AQ. So observe here. This is the distance of AQ, right? So nothing but here AQ is equals to RS, isn't it? So writing here AQ is equals to RS. Nothing but how will you find the distance of RS, na na? By doing a OS minus OR. If you do OS minus OR, then we will get what, na na? R S, isn't it? Now observe here, na. What is the distance of origin to the S? So this is the x-axis, right? So what is the point we are having? This is x. And from O to R, with respect to the x-axis, this is what an x1. Nothing but a x minus x1. R S is nothing but a Q. So what is the value? This is x minus x1. So that means this is also what x minus x1. Is it clear first? Next P C. PC observe where is PC so this is a PC nothing but these two are equal right PC is equals to ST PC is equals to ST now observe here how will you find the value of ST na na so if you do from origin to T nothing but OT OT minus OS nothing but OT minus OS then you will get the value of ST isn't it so right here OT minus OS so nothing but O to T With respect to the x-axis, what is the value? X2. That means sir, O to T is what? Na X2. So this is what now X2 
minus O S. O to S. What is the distance with respect to the x axis? This is x right. So minus x. Okay, but O S is what? Na x only right? Na na. But but x two minus x. We got. Now we have to find P Q. P Q is equals to. So what is the P Q here? This is the length of P Q. How will you get the value of P Q? Na na. If you do P S minus S Q. P S minus Q S. Then you will get here P Q. Right. So writing here, uh, P S minus Q S. Then we will get the value of P Q. Okay. So once you observe here, these two are opposites are equal, right? So that means this is the length of what y one, isn't it? So this is what y one. Okay. Now this is P two S. So what is the total length, na? With respect to the y axis, this is y. This total is y, na na. So that means how will you get the value of P Q? Y minus y one. If you do y minus y one, then we will get the value of P Q. Is my getting? Next, we had to find what BC. This is what BC. Now we had to find this length. So how will you find BC? Total is what BT. BT minus CT. If you do BT minus CT, then you will get the value of BC. Okay. Now once again, Nana, observe here. These two are opposites are equal. So nothing but this length is what? No y. So nothing but up to here, this total length is y. And what is with respect to the y-axis? This total length is becomes what? No y two. Isn't it? Now, how will you get the value of uh, BC? If you do y2 minus y, if you do y2 minus y, then we will get the value of BC. Isma? So once you pause the video and check it carefully, na na. So we find that AQ, AQ is nothing but RS. Na these two are equal. So we got x minus x1. PC. This is the length of PC. PC is nothing but ST. With respect to the origin, we got the value as x2 minus x. PQ length of PQ we got as what na na y minus y one okay na thimba da PS minus QS BC na thimba BT minus CT we got here now we had to replace in equation number two so these all values sir we had to replace in equation number two to get the section formula okay na so so once you observe here we'll write here by by comparison we got what here na PA by PB A similar T rule we got P A by P B is equals to A Q by P C is equals to P Q by B C, isn't it? Now from equation one, from equation one, P A by P B, P A by P B how much we got M one by M two ratio given right? Is equals to A Q. What is the value of A Q? X minus X one by P C is what? X two minus X. Is equals to P Q value is what y minus y one by B C value y two minus y. Is my isn't it? Now we'll solve this one. Okay, that means that uh, m one by m two is equals to first x terms and as well as to the y terms. Okay, now we'll solve here m one by m two is equals to x minus x one by x two minus x. So first we will solve this one, Anna. Then we will move the y terms. So first doing cross multiplication, what it becomes? M1 into x2 minus x is equals to m2 into x minus x1. Is my getting by doing cross multiplication? Then this implies what? M1 into x2 is m1 x2 minus m1 into x is m1 x is equals to m2 into x minus m2 x1. Is my is clear? This implies that uh, so right here m1 x2 same transposing minus m2 x1 to the LHS side it becomes plus m2 x1 is equals to m2 x uh, now this negative term now transpose into the RHS side minus becomes plus plus m1 x is it clear? So writing same LHS term here m1 x2 plus M two x one is equals to in these two terms we can take x as a common factor, right? Then what is the remaining? M two plus M one. M two into x is M two x and M one into x is M one x. Okay, so from here we can find the value of x right now here. This implies that uh, x is equals to M one x two plus M two x one. This multiplication becomes division. I think what M one plus M two. M two plus M one or M one plus M two both are same. Right, so this is what with respect to the x. Now we had to equate to the y. Okay, so m1 by m2. 
is equal to no? y minus y1 by y2 minus y. Yes, no? Same process of doing cross multiplication. Then what? m1 into y2 minus y is equal to m2 into y minus y1. Okay? Again, multiplication and m1 into y2 is nothing but m1 y2 minus m1 into y is m1 y is equals to m2 into y is m2 y minus m2 into y1 is m2 y1 okay so this implies a m1 y2 now this negative quantity becomes what in a plus nothing but plus m2 y1 is equals to m2 y transposing minus m1 y to the rhs side becomes plus m1 y writing lhs same as a m1 y2 plus m2 y1 now in these two terms we can take y as the common factor isn't it then what it becomes y into m2 plus m1 okay so from this one we can find the value of y then y is equals to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by this multiplication becomes division nothing but m1 plus m2 m2 plus m1 or m1 plus m2 both are same yes ma are getting so nothing but we got the coordinates of the point p x comma y p x comma y which divides the line segment so we got the coordinates p x comma y which divides the line segment in the ratio a x1 y1 b x2 y2 in the ratio what na m1 is to m2 or what na x is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 and y is what m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 so this is what an section formula okay once again anna so the coordinates of the point p x comma y which divides the line segment joining points a x1 y1 b x2 y2 in the ratio m1 is to m2 is what p x comma y is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 yes ma so this is a proof of a section formula so in next class we will discuss about a two more formulas about a midpoint and a trisection okay na so based on this condition only we had to solve those two na in next class we will discuss that one okay i hope you got it thank you so much Thank you.